Hey guys, Nix here, coming at you live from the Danger Zone. So today I wanted to talk about these rumors of the Switch Mini. So, first of all, this seems like a godsend, because I've been wanting to get a Switch, but the way that Nintendo's done this dirty in the past, it's like, I don't know if I'm willing to drop 300 bucks. I don't know if I'm willing to do, I'm, I know I'm really not excited to drop 360 or whatever it's going to cost to have a, a Switch and Breath of the Wild, like the one game that's good on it besides Snip Clips and all those other downloadable games, but like a heavy hitter title, Breath of the Wild, that's the 100% attach rate that they've been talking about. So, yeah, the Switch Mini's coming out. It's supposed to be sub $200, no detachable uh, joy cons which I think is not that bad it's basically what I was calling the switch in the beginning which is basically a s Nintendo Vita and this is like what I thought the Vita was going to be you know but then we've seen Mortal Kombat 9 and it did have a few good games but um, nothing like crazy you know nothing amazing and it looks like the switch is going to have some full triple a games i mean breath of the wild's already blown everybody out of the water 10 out of 10 is all across the board so the joy con i mean i've i don't know I, I forgot where i was but the detectable joy cons the price point is the bomb i do not give a fuck if i can't take out the joy cons it still works with the dock if i wanted to put down the extra cash it's basically like pay pay to play like if i want to play on my tv i'll buy a dock eventually but right now it's like i'm cool playing my switch in my hands you know and plus the problems that you get by detaching the joy cons and hooking up the little bars it's like i don't plan on playing any two-player games they don't really have any two-player games i'd rather get a switch play with people online and then i could always get joy cons separately too it seems really useful they seem really cool i still want to try them of course but the switch switch mini price point i bet you it's going to be the definitive definitive edition probably going to have better battery life better fucking memory it's probably not even gonna be switch me it's gonna be like switch go switch to switch stay I don't know but uh so far I think it's a good idea and some people are hating on the rumors at review tech USA but I don't think it's a bad thing and for consumer consumers like me that you know you just wouldn't mind the console experience uh, to go you don't mind the battery life, which might be better. We don't know yet. It's just a rumor. But I assume if uh, Nintendo made another product, it's going to be better. It's what they do. Nintendo always comes out with different things. Like the 3DS had, or the regular 3DS had like five fucking versions, you know. And the 3DS even has like the first 3DS, and there's another 3DS, and then there's new 3DS, and then it's just like Nintendo loves doing different renditions, like mini upgrades. They did the fucking Wii Mini that nobody really wanted but it was there it was cheap so maybe some people bought it but that's just my opinion on it so uh thanks for tuning in guys and i'll catch you guys next time